welcome to another episode of Bella TV. I'm Stephanie Yang Ponin, and joining me today is the beautiful actress Tiffany Smith. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thanks for being here. You are the Duchess doppelganger. When you appeared on the screen, I was like, oh my gosh, that's Meghan Markle. And you starred in Lifetime's Harry and Meghan Becoming Royal. How was playing that role for you? Um, it was a really awesome opportunity for me. Honestly, it was, I had been acting for a little bit, but hadn't had a leading role yet. And so when that opportunity came up, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I kind of look at my life as if if the doors keep opening, I'm going to keep walking through them. And there was really no way to predict that, you know, there would be an actress who ended up with Prince Harry that looked somewhat similar to me. Um, so I auditioned and booked it and uh, it was an incredible opportunity. I mean, I had such a great time, met so many great people um, during this whole last year. I've definitely Zoomed with Charlie who played Harry in my movie and Jordan who plays William. Um, so we've all stayed really close and, you know, it, I, I'm multiracial. So doing that movie really helped open up some really cool conversations between me and my parents, which was really, really nice. Um, and I can't, I can't express how thankful I was to get to do that movie. That's incredible. Like everyone in that cast just looks exactly like the Royal family and it's <laughs> like, whoa, like taking a double take. So it's, Super exciting. Um, I feel like you probably get stopped all the time. Did you have to learn any like royal etiquette to perfect being Meghan Markle? Um, we, I, I don't get stopped as much now. Um, cause after I finished filming a couple of years ago, I cut my hair. <laughs> um, cause I was like, if my hair is shorter, I think maybe the like confusion might stop a little bit. Um, but we, when I was on set, you know, we definitely had to learn the like proper way to sit and curtsy and all of those things. But it, so much of that came from wardrobe for me that as soon as you put on some of the dresses and the heels and things, it just automatically gave you that kind of energy. I mean, even to, today where I'm like, I'm in a t-shirt and I'm like sitting cross-legged and I'm like, this is great. I feel super chill, but you put on like a fitted dress and it's like, okay, I'm going to sit up straight. I'm going to cross my legs. I'm going to be proper. Well, you looked amazing in it. And I, Thank if you. I saw you on the streets, I would probably stop still <laughs> you know with the haircuts you still look beautiful but Thank um you. now you star in Netflix's animated series Masters of the Universe can you tell me about your character yeah um Masters of the Universe Revelation is a continuation from the 80s series and I get to play Andra who is a new character her name is kind of a legacy name because she was mentioned in the comics there were a couple of frames that she's in um but they took the name and wanted to make a new character for the animated series and I like to think of her as kind of the audience's eyes into this world because she is such a fan of Eternia. She's such a fan of everything that happens with He-Man and Tila and Skeletor. And so it was really fun for me to step into that because I am such a fan of all of that stuff. So, so much of her character felt really natural for me. It's totally action-packed. Um, I think I saw the trailer and you're saving a castle, like someone's saving a castle. So like, I think this whole royal thing kind of just like ties in. So <laughs> <laughs> This one is, a, she's a little bit more, she's an engineer. She's blowing stuff up. She's, you know, it's super bad fighting a skeleton but... man. Like, <laughs> I love it. I love it all. And you're also hosting the after show Netflix series for this. That's amazing. How excited are you about it? Yeah, you know, the thing that was really cool is that I've, I've worked with Kevin Smith prior to this series, and we've hosted some stuff together for CW and DC, and we hosted a show called Geeking Out on AMC with Greg Brunberg. And so when the animated show came up, I was so excited to book, obviously, as an actress. And then when we finished, you know, I'd, I'd been so excited about the show. Kevin and I had talked and um, they came to me and were like, so we think we're going to do an after show. Is that, would you want to do it? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, a thousand percent yes. Um, because I think it's, I feel really lucky that I get to host and act. I know how difficult it can be to kind of walk the line between a couple different worlds in the entertainment industry. And I feel super, super blessed and super lucky that I get to do both. And I think it brings something special because it's like, I get to, especially for this show, talk about specifically working on this show. Other times it's really helpful still. Cause I feel like I can, I can relate to the actors a little bit more, or when I'm working on a project, I can relate to the people interviewing me a little bit more than I could before. I think. Well, I definitely can't wait to check it out. I really enjoy all the after shows. So congratulations. Um, Thank you. Every series I finish on Netflix, I'm like, I want more. And it's just so perfect. <laughs> so I will definitely be looking out for that. 
Um, and you also recently finished filming Hallmark's Aloha with Love. Aloha with Love was amazing because it was kind of towards the end of quarantine and um, well, still in it, but I'd been home and in LA for a really long time. And that sh- film came up and they were like, we're going to shoot in Maui. And I was like, please sign me up. I'm ready to go. Um, so I got to go to Maui and stay there for three weeks while we shot the movie. And um, it was with my co-star Trevor Donovan, who's done a lot of Hallmark films. Um, and we just had such a great time. It was one of those projects where, again, I feel like I really put out into the world what I want to work on and the kinds of people I want to work with. And so I felt really fortunate that, again, on this project, it was a great cast, a great crew, um, great director. We all got along so well. And I mean, how can you not when it's in paradise in Hawaii? I know. I would love to just go to Hawaii. And I love also all like Hallmark movies. I think it's just so, especially a rom-com, you know, (laughs) want to just like snuggle up and like watch. (laughs) But Mm -hmm. that's truly amazing. You're doing it all. Like I said, Um, are there any other projects we can look out for? Um, Just, I think I always tell people right now, keep your eyes on my social media. It's at Tiffany underscore Smith. Um, Aloha with love will be coming out as my next project. And then um, since doing master of the universe revelation, there's been a lot more stirring in the voiceover world, which I'm really excited about. So nothing I can talk about just yet. um, But those are some of the next things coming up for me. Well, I will definitely be looking out and I'll definitely be telling everyone to be looking out for it. So thank Thank you you. so much again for your time. Thanks so much. Be sure to check out Tiffany Smith in Masters of the Universe on Netflix. Thank you so much. I had a blast chatting with you. You too.